Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Tara. Hope everyone is well. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. Alright, we're running cards for Libra for January 2022. I still can't wrap my head around it. I, 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 we're what, three or four days in? I still can't wrap my head around it. I, I'm still having trouble. I don't know why. But if it resonates with you, Libra, cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do. The message is given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising and Venus sign readings if you think it might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Energy friends, cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. And I appreciate y'all stopping by saying hello to little me. If you're new here, simply my vibe and stuff, and you want to come hang out some more, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for stopping back by. Anybody can hit the like button at any time if they so choose. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos, particularly to those who may need the messages. Okay, a couple quick things. Did I just drop a card? I'm debating if I should pause and count the cards. Give me a second. Okay, they're all there. I just don't want to be accused of not playing with a full deck. Uh, anyway. It was supposed to be a funny joke. If you didn't laugh, it's totally okay. It really wasn't that funny. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. And if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, and it's not making sense in your life, just leave the cards on the table and walk away. It wasn't meant for you. We'll try again next time. All right. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for January 2022. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. And I ask that you help me use it to bring Libra to their highest possible spiritual good and put them in their highest possible spiritual path. Okay. Move these off to the side. Move these off to the side. Busting out an old school spread. Some of you may recognize it. Start at the bottom of the deck. be dealing with an Aquarius. I also have Pisces and Sagittarius here. A little bit of fire, a little bit of earth. All right. I'm not even doing first blush. We're just going to go. It's like looking at a road sign that says dead end and wondering where the road goes. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Slightly interesting. Mm. There's a little bit of a mirror here. Talk to me about this hanged man. Okay, eight of wands. Accepting the fate of the situation. Is it forward moving or communication? One on the eight of wands. 
Ah, uh, yeah. Accepting the fate of the situation, allowing a painful cycle to come to an end. Not building foundations. Could be talking to other people. Could have ended abruptly. Hmm. How do you feel about the other person is the Eight of Wands? Why the Eight of Wands? There's a tornado in that picture. back in there. Five of Pentacles reverse. Strength reversed. Libra. Page of Wands. Okay, now I'm thoroughly confused. Fast mover? Draining? You miss them, they miss you. One on the page of wands, something about the past. Something about the path. In and out communication. You feel like they're in and out. They're solid, they're stable, they're grounded, but at the same time they're in and out. That's what I'm getting off of that. The in and out's draining. The in and out's draining. Why temperance for what you think of them? Why temperance? Swords reversed. I'm hearing this took patience. The star. Third time on the board. This took patience. This took patience. When it flowed well, it flowed well. When it didn't, it didn't. Yes, no. Queen of Swords reversed. And when it didn't flow well, it didn't flow well at all, did it? Ten of Cups reversed. Now I'm not beating that dead horse anymore. When it was good, when it, it was good. When it was bad, it was horrible. How about that? Does that sum it up? It might sum it up for somebody. You're healing. You're accepting the fate of the situation. You're allowing it to end. You're healing, possibly talking to other people. The in and out was just too freaking draining. All right, Intended actions toward them. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Cups reversed. Death reversed. What the? French toast! <sighs> Trying not to swear. What the French toast? Three swords. It's heartbreaking. The seed wasn't growing. There was confusion. Death reversed. One on death reversed. Ace of Pentacles upright. What could I have done? It's a what could I have done? You still want to fix this. You're, you're hoping for healing. You're heartbroken, but you're hoping for healing. 
All right, so outcome, Eight of Pentacles. Give me one on the Eight of Pentacles. You're blocking it out right now. You're not trying to manifest anything. You're going to work on you. Your guards up. One in the magician reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. You can't manifest anything right now. This is block out work on you. Lovers upright bottom of the deck. All right, let's go to the person you're dealing with. There's definitely connection here. I got the star three times. What's up with the Six of Cups reversed? Three lines reversed. Oh, wow. Bad blood. They've walked away from the dock. Or at the very least, they're standing there with their back to the water. Queen of Pentacles upright. I knew there was going to be a mirror here at some point. They're getting their shit together. Ah, gosh, I got to stop doing that. One on the star. Talk to me about the star for how the other person feels about the Libra. The fool. You're healing. You're off doing something new. Or they feel like you're foolish. Chariot reversed. Stop the chariot. Get out of the car, jumped off the cliff. I don't know. Mm. Two of Wands. You you you're moving on. You've picked your path, you've made your choice, you're moving on. Six of Swords. What they think of you. Two of Cups. Wow. You moved on to somebody else. That's what they think. It's over. Door's closed. They think this door is closed. Apparently their intended actions towards you is to try to open this door back up. What's the Four of Wands all about? Because there's a connection here. It's a Cups room. It's not an accident that it flipped. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Watch reversed. Nine of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Patience, patiently waiting. Hanging back. Not offering anything. Just hanging back, waiting for the door to open. Hanging back, waiting for you to be emotionally content. Just kind of standing there. Not doing anything. Not going to knock on the door. Just going to wait for you to open it. Oh my god. Oh Libra. Oh Libra. Oh Libra. Oh Libra. Oh Libra. Oh Libra. Alright. Why is the lovers here? We'll address this chaos in a second. Lovers. Lovers. 
Double choice to be made. Definitely a connection. One more. Two of swords reversed. Can't make up their mind. Can't make a clear-headed decision. Four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I'm leaving it. There's... Okay. You, my friend, Libra, my dears, you. Check this. Okay. So you're accepting it. There, there, there isn't a foundation to build on right now. There's, there, You're probably still talking. But a painful part of this is coming to an end for whatever reason. It was draining as all get out. Probably rolled back and forth on and off. At this point, you're just not happy. <laughs> You're healing. But somewhere in the back of your head, you want to try to fix it. I think you're coming... But you... On one hand, you want to fix it. But you're going to end up not trying to fix it. You're going to wall yourself against it. And them... They feel like you've already moved on. You're off doing your own thing in their eyes. You've moved on. They, they think you're with someone else. If you are with someone else, okay. But they don't want to let you go. It's time to just chill, yo. There's potential for growth here. Because, let's face it, y'all still hung up on each other. But there's paths you both still need to walk that you haven't walked. So for right now, things need to be at a pause. This feels like a pause. If that gives it hope to anyone, this feels like a pause to me. All right. Let's get a moonology. Let's see what the moon has to say. Moonology. 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 I may just have to pick one if I don't get a flyer. Nothing will come of this situation. Void of course moon. All right. Wisdom. We need wisdom. Regeneration. Hmm. Okay. Let's read Void of Course Moon. In the form of astrology known as Orari where an astro astrological chart is cast according to when the question is asked and decoded. A void course moon means nothing will come of this matter, or the situation will bear no fruit. This may or may not be good news, depending on what you are asking. For example, if you are worried about something, whatever it was, this card can be taken as a sign that there is nothing to worry about. However, if you're asking about a new project of any kind, including a new relationship, it's a sign to adjust your expectations or change things so you get a different outcome. Remember, the cards can only predict what you are currently creating, and you can change that with both behavior and beliefs. Just kind of hanging out. <laughs> hmm. Regeneration. Like, where did it go? Regeneration number 46. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 is endings and beginnings. Hmm. Hmm. 
four from six is two. Two is choices and change. Where's number 46? Choices. 46. Where's number? Come on. <clears throat> the world is based on connections and relationships. No matter what loss has occurred in the past or even now, death and endings are only illusions. There is life after death, love after loss, and in this moment, you are radiating the regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms. Now is the time when you will see evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. Hmm. There is still a pretty strong connection here, so I don't know. I don't know. Libra. Hope it helped. If it was yours, if it's not, leave it alone. I will catch you guys in your next read. Have a banging banner of a 2022. Peace, love, and light.